What's up guys and welcome back to Murder Soul Suspect. My name is DJ and in the last video we found out a gu found a guy named Brad who died in a car crash. You don't know what happened to him. It's what we're going to find out in this video. So let's go find out, shall we? What's this? Are you puking? I think you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh boy! I heard... I hear glass breaking. Rick. So your name is Rick. Rick may have been drunk off his ass, but still something startled you. Why you Rick? Maybe if we walk a little faster. If I ever met the killer in the street, I don't know what I'd do. You look like Rick. You share the same face, but I don't think you're Rick. Okay. Someone calling the phone. On the phone. Who are you? Oh, you're Brad. Yeah. Cap. <laughs> I mean Cap. What? Oh. Uh... Gas station. Yeah! The SOC. Okay. Great. Brad making a call. Looks like Brad was trying to call a cab, but something scared him off before he could arrive. Home. Oh, interesting, interesting. So that means... So something startled him when he was making that call when that guy was puking and I'm guessing this is your other friend who's from gas. Aha! Oh my goodness. I didn't know you were such a lightweight. Laura pumping gas. So your name is Laura. Laura was in the middle of filling up when she heard that loud noise and cut it short. I'm missing two pieces of evidence. Maybe if I possess that police officer, is then I can use my information. Oh, nope, he's not part of the investigation. Never mind. Okay, there must be other things around. Oh! Wait. Yeah, wait. You better be clean when I get home. Your taxi driver. I'm standing in your taxi. There have to be. There has to be more clues around here, right? The hell? Oh, okay. So this uh, this little uh, plaza area isn't actually part of that investigation. Okay, fine. But what are these? Uh, what are these train tracks? Doing? Can't enter there. That's concentrated. Uh, you're not doing anything. Come on, there has to be something else here that I'm missing. Please. Is the w is there a witness who saw who was driving? Maybe it was Laura. Yes. Well, they all got startled by the... By whatever sound, right? They all heard a loud bang that scared them off. If I could just figure out what they heard. Maybe I should go back to Brad and talk to him and see uh, if he remembers anything. Because... I came this way to talk to him. Who was driving? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out, Brad. I still can't talk to you? Okay. It's not fast through me. Again. Okay, what am I doing? Where am I going? Yep. Okay, here's the gas station. That's the police department, which is progress, but I want to figure out what happened to this man. <laughs> there has to be something. Huh? Collect that. Same as history. Hmm. Oh man, what the hell? The train crashed in this building. Or there used to be a train crash here. Oh, oh, there's something over there. Okay, and how do I get over there though? Can I hide some of this? No, maybe I have to go around the building. Because <clears throat> I sure as hell can't go through it. Can I go around this way? Yes, I can. Alright. Damn it. Salem's history, gas station history plaque. I can't go through this fence. Dang, so there's something in there that I want. Let's go this way and see, uh, let's see what's this way. Uh, there's another building on fire. There must have been a fire in Salem. That's probably why there's all these buildings are on fire. Come on, freaking collect the newspaper article. Dang it. Here's article number four. The FBI can get involved to support local law enforcement if it's clearly established that there is a serial killer. 
The Salem Police Department had no statement on the FBI's announcement at press time, but has continually refused to describe the details as the local receiver code. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so why is this building burning? What, what happened here? What's going on? Where is this way? What is this way? What's going on? Where am I? I don't know where I'm going! Is there a map? Whoopsie. B red, the car's vanity plate is not a good surprise. The car's covered in a broken bottle, raspberry whiskey, not a good sign. There are three clues that I'm missing for that investigation, and I can't find them. What the hell? Chalk bell symbol. Oh, he's called the bell killer for a reason. Witness trauma report. Lux Turner Psychiatric Hospital. I'll probably have to visit that sometime soon. These are fragments of burning buildings everywhere, which probably is evidence that there is there was a fire in Salem some time ago in the 1800s. Because that looks that all these buildings look like they were made from made in the 1800s, right? Right? Eh? Eh? Okay. It's this way. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Right. Well. Oh, gas can. Ah. One, ten more to it. Uncover the story, whatever story that may be. Okay, so back on topic. These three were distracted by a loud bang. So my question is, what made the, excuse me that loud bang? What I saw. No, no, couldn't have been. <laughs> Just didn't have those hats. Yeah, duh. Oh man, there has to be a clue. I guess. This is Baxter's official comment. Blah 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 blah. So he's the spokesperson for the police department. What a git. Right. I don't know what else is there here that I can investigate for that poor guy. Oops. Let me collect this. Damn it. Here we go. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm just gonna make one last pass around the entire area and if there's nothing I, nothing else I can do, I'm gonna head inside the police station just to further the story. Because there is nothing I can do right now. There's literally nothing. I can go into any of these buildings. I don't think any of them have any answers. What's this? What's, what's around here? Ooh! It's one of my, the... The ghost girl messages... Okay, uh, I guess I could go this way. The witch trial exhibit. bit. Not going that way. Okay. Anything useful in their minds? Nope. Well, looks like it's to the police station I go then. Just a check. Yeah, but you know, your boyfriend, girlfriend, you know. You should always feel comfortable around this person you love, don't you think, right? Anime! Right, heading to the police station to further the story. I just spent eight and a half minutes doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. Let's, oops. Nope, nope, nope. I pressed B by accident. Let me in there. Thank you. Strange coming back here now like this. Place I used. Oh goodness gracious, it's loading in a different area, and every time it loads in the area, it always does this. Crunch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone. Oh, I see mementos Funny over there. History repeats itself. They walk so awkwardly, though. It's like everyone has a permanent Tonight, limp. I was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. I hear. Oh, that's Remember, here. There's Rex. You approach him, it gives him power. Sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Well, okay then. Oh, Rex. Should see if there are any new leads in my murder case. Well, first things first is I'm gonna go outside because there are mementos in this office that I want to get. Oh, 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 this is polter poltergeist activity. Okay. This is Mr. Person's report. I can't tell you anything, son. I'm not homicide. I've only been in the department for 
six months. I just... Do cops get killed a lot? No. What's this? Hey, Baxter. You still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. Who is that next to Baxter? Baxter's relationship with the witness's mother. Baxter is still working on the Bell Killer case even though he's being reassigned. But who is this mysterious man? Hmm. The plot thickens. A rifle? The hell? Is that a musket? Yes, it is a musket. Cool! A stalwart specter. Well, uh, any stalwart specter is worth admiration in my book. Uh, these guys don't have anything useful for me, so I'm gonna go into this war room and see what's up. Let's peek. Any new leads in my case? Body arrived at morgue. My body? Cause of death, pending autopsy. Seven bullets to the chest. Preliminary forensics. No fibers, no suspect blood, DNA, no prints left at scene. Now. I watch enough CSI to know that that's, <laughs> that's important. Police didn't find the lead, sadly. Missing! Update update to reflect recent developments. Now they're both missing. Joy Cassandra Foster. Joy. Missing persons flyers. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's a. Inspect. A bell symbol research. He's been doing. Rex has been doing research into bells, apparently. That's a map of the entire murder locat. Murder locat! Oh, no murder locations. Haha! <laughs> Dots all around the. That looks pretty random if you ask me. They're spread all over Salem. Alright, so what's this way? Oh, there's more poltergeist activity. Who are you? No one useful. Oh, what's this? Examine details. Suspect lineup. Height 6 foot 2, 215 pounds. Ca athletic. Caucasian? Blue eyes always seen in mask and hood. <laughs> Milk color suspects. What's this? Victims. Okay. So there are several victims. Several, several victims. Good thing they're all fuzzy pictures, huh? Fingernails on cement, broken stick, tied hands and feet. So they were not just those six of eleven clues. Well, I can. Oh, no, that's a cig no, that's a cigarette. No, none. Let's possess Rex. No, be very in. no, no suspects at this point, sir. Aww. Down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads. Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. If you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Mother in law. Well, you know, Mr. Police Captain, it's good. hard to do that when you have nothing. Rex's frustration. Rex is frustrated by the lack of evidence or progress in my murder. I think that's all that I can do. Oop, more of those. The killer symbol. So he etches the bell symbol. That bell, uh, that bell symbol thing into their, into his victims whenever he kills them, or he draws it on them. Anyone wants to answer the phone? No. Damn it. Just see if there are any Louis in my case. Anything else that I can examine? Other filing cabinet? No. Uh, cops. We gotta stick together. True. Very true. Oh, I want. I wish I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. Oh, thank you. Examine details. Cause of death: ligature strangulation. Trauma to neck and larynx via gar. Garroting or garroting or however the hell you want to pronounce that. Severe abrasions to wrists and ankles, most likely the result of being bound by hemp rope like that. Consistent with all other bell killer murders. Ruling homicide. Okay. And another victim death. So hello, there's a random officer coming in. Hello, who are you? What would make him remember what he should be doing? Who are you, first of all? Are you Okay, so you have Salem Police Department, but it doesn't give me an idea of what you do. 
Are you forensics? Symbol similarity? Look at suspicious person's correct, frustration, suspicious person's fine. Police didn't find lead? Maybe is it this one? No, no. Was there something he was asked to do? Okay, it's it was from outside, I remember this. He was calling you to do something. What was it? Just hope I live long enough to be an old cop. And this video is getting longer and longer. The more I, I stand around and flail my arms at this. Right. I need to figure out what this guy is, needs to be doing. So. Is he a? He's doing missing persons, isn't he? Yes, I was right. I gotta find that info about the missing tenant. Thank you. Missing persons file update. We have to this missing tenant. My information is useful. Yay! Right, I gotta peek at this. What did he update about the missing tenants? Cassandra Foster, resident of forty-two, age forty-two, resident of Regal Apartments, professional psychic medium and criminal profiler. Occasional consultant for the Salem Police Department, last seen by neighbors two weeks ago, no criminal record. Joy Foster, the girl, 15. Age 15, her legal guardian is her mother, Cassandra Foster. Robots of her father are unknown. Dropped out of Salem school system two years ago, ran away from home. <laughs> Has a number of misdemeanor convictions, juvenile trespassing, burglary, rent breaking, entering. Amber alert for Joy Foster Castle in custody. Hey! She's in custody. Damn it. <laughs> Because when this is a custody here, this is probably still being the holding cells. <laughs> Conclude this investigation. And I better go find Joy somehow if she's still around. And I will do that in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I will see you in the next video where we will—I uh, don't know—we will find the holding cells and find Joy. Ta-ta, everyone.